in these um, next three or four series of Apollo 16, 118, 18939, we see our very large arthropod friend sunbaking there. And what looks like a worm. Very hard to see from far away, but on the pictures I've analysed, we've got a time lapse of actually the worm being caught. I know this sounds crazy, but let's go in and have a few looks at these pictures. I think uh, they actually speak for themselves. Now I've actually managed to capture very nice ones, so they're not too bright, not too dark. And something's there. You can see the arachnoid, or sorry, arthropod uh, body very uh, nobly. We've seen that in other pictures as well. See what it looks like claws and antenna there and something's coming over that rock very hard to analyze but you need about three or four photos so let's let's do the job and see what's going on here's our friend in the next pic he's just quietly sunbaking there and there's our friend coming over that rock ledge <coughs> next picture this is the next picture where the head seems to move now very quick up there it's blurred so it seems as though we've got movement and this has happened quickly as Apollo 16 flies over and takes these rapid pictures <coughs> it's about four or five we see movement happening I know it's hard to work out but something's being blurred there something's moving so you see what looks like an antenna there uh, a bit of a claw and the obvious arthropod uh, body there um, of a larger diffraction. And this is where we're going to see strange things happening. There's a nothing there at the moment, is there? That's pretty far away and it's just starting to move. That's why it's blurred. And you see that what looks like a spider's head or antenna up there. Very scary thing, isn't it? It could be about 10 uh, meters long or you know, it has to be pretty large to be caught, obviously, that high up by the image. I forgot to mention it's the Konstantinov crater, and it's this has got to be hard to believe. It's at 114 kilometre height, these pictures. Hmm. Wow. I've been able to zoom in very close. Here we go again. Now let's go to the next picture. Wow. This is what I call the uh, money shot. I don't know why, but I just sense I'm seeing something there. That round thing has come over and snared it. That wasn't there in the other pictures. The head's moving there. Obviously, it's been snared. And now we see that black, like, arm um, extending all the way. So I thought that was a shadow there, but that could be part of that arm coming over. But it's more likely that's part of a shadow. But what we see here is that round thing ensnaring that large worm. I didn't see any other pictures. I think it happens time lapse. Um, now we have a bit of a clearer picture. I've, I've used about four times magnification on this. What we see here are those tentacles, the arthropod figure. And what we've got here is a, a, a definite connection to that white worm and what looks like snaring over and catching it right there. I didn't think about that before till I sort of had a quick look at the pictures and I sensed something is different and there it is. And that worm's prey. And obviously, um, yeah, that's it. It's time up for the worm. Remember these creatures are not isolated. This is one other Apollo picture and they're huge. They're frightening. There's one with these worms on top, shadow and it's got huge arthropod features there. I think that's the a nest and it's hiding its larva or just waiting for prey. And you see those little things the, the other creature had, like eyes on top of the tentacles? There they are. These things are for real and they're there waiting and they're hungry. There it is there. All these little white worms. One sticking his head just over there. I'll go to the original picture now, but... Yeah, these things are there and they're hungry and they are waiting to catch prey. I'm still surprised I caught one in the act. This is the picture where we caught our little friend, um, Apollo 16. One, one, it's one five, and it's actually 116 kilometres at the Anderson Sharonov crater. 
And here you see the claws. Now I've been able, I don't know how, but I've got a very good color image of that. This one doesn't seem to move, but it just shows the largeness of this creature. On this one I've used very good coloring. So it's there's two or three pictures time lapse. There's got a little bit of light on it. Another one it has it, and there's the worm, and it's got the same sort of dark eyes that that one had catching that worm, or ends of the tentacles. It's a close up of the end of that tentacle, or whatever that arthropod creature is, and that's that curvy worm there for shadow. One other one there. That's one other picture, so it just has a little bit more sunlight on it. So this is when the craft is flying over at a high altitude. Obviously it takes two or three pictures. We're getting a different type of angles, and there's one of the worms coming over the edges, one up there, arthropod. There could be a, a, a larva actually, and they're the little worms. So it could be, that's a freshly hatched larva chasing the little white ones. And there's the uh, mama. She's looking very nasty sitting there, quiet in the shade. There, there, there are these tentacles I took a picture of before, these dark white ones. But mind you, this is at 114 kilometers. I don't know how I, I managed to enlarge all this. <sighs> there are these white crawly things. So during those quick clicks of Apollo 16 flying over, we've got various angles and various shadows on these creatures. There's just one other click. That worm's still there. It hasn't caught it. It's a bit blurred that picture, so it's not that good. Let's go to the next one. That's a close up of these worms nearby. They're white, they've got a head, they stick up, and they're obviously full of uh, moisture and flesh. And um, maybe they eat the contents out of it like a spider does and sucks it out. Excuse the expression. I hope you're not having a dinner watching this. Okay, let's zoom in. That's just one other view of that crater where we were. That could be the same process of that creature, it could be another one, but I think there could be some lava in there, that could be part of the our body. And these like that's one of the white worms standing up, you see the shadow of it. Could be one on the ground there and one or two little eggs there, the darker ones. So it's got, you've always got the darker eggs and the white worms are coming across. There's yeah, that one standing up. It's just looking around, I think. Right there. Next picture. This is number 05, and it's the 115 kilometers. So it varies 114, 116, 115. It's the Anderson Sharon of Crater. We've got one arthropod creature there. That's what I'm thinking what it is. And there, here are the big claw creature there. There's one other creature there, I think, that we zoomed in onto. Um, but I have a feeling. That one there, we only have one or two pictures, there's not much time lapse on that one. Yeah, that's all we have of that one. Now, sure you can say it could be a rock face, but because we've analysed so many, that's that's an arthropod, that's the uh, body, and that's like two of these eyes or processes sticking out. And they like to hide in the shade, on the edge usually, that's where the worms come over. It's only one we've caught of that, because we actually go over it, we haven't got a time lapse image of that one. This is one more creature, but there's no time lapse. It's more of a rounded top one, and here's a few processes, two arthropod processes there, and what looks like a very big eye there. I never thought of that before, but yeah, that's what it looks like, just one big central eye, and it's like a crawly type creature, and there's the tail, or whatever, and there's one process, and there's probably one other one on the other side, and that's a huge eye. That's like a tail. Or it could be laying eggs, but I think it could be part of the uh, body there. It's only one picture, and it, it doesn't seem to move that one much. This is our other friend, but he's just sunbaking. He, he hasn't been observed to change during the image at all, so he just sunbakes there. That's the tail. Arthropod, that's part of the uh, body. And underneath is a very nasty one. That looks more like uh, claws, and usually they like to hide in the shadow. So that one's unusual because it's coming there to sunbake. We can zoom in on that picture once more, but there's not much action happening there. This is where we found our friend in the Apollo 16 picture. And, um, it's at a height of 98, so they dropped a bit. It's a king crater. And there's that larger creature on the shade where they normally are, and that's him on top just having a nice sunbake. They don't move at all, so I'll just go quickly through the pictures. I've somehow brightened it up. 
so you can see a bit of contrast and shadows. There's that creature underneath. There's the arthropod features again. And this time you see like the two claws sticking up. And these are similar to the claws we saw in the other pictures. Difference is, there they are. They're very bright and dark, like beads that are joined to form the body. That's the one there, very arthropod, a very a beady type of a body, like a big spider. And there's the head there. But I think there's a little worm coming over the edge. We can't tell. We have to stop focusing on that. But that could be the worms we're used to, just sunbaking on top, and they just wait to catch them. Next picture. Same thing, but maybe at a slightly better view. Maybe these are these curly white worms we're used to seeing right there and there. And that's why we see these larger critters, um, arthropods, waiting to catch them. Yeah, we could be correct. What we're seeing here are these white ones are coming up, and that's very obedi. See that that's one whole process of a worm, or they could be eggs. And once they hatch, these larger arthropods are just waiting to pick up small larva. And there's one there. There's the very dark, typical arthropod type of um, appearance of these things. Yeah, so usually you see them on the edge and you see the white ones on top. See if we can enlarge that a bit more. There we go. It's from about 97 clones, I think, is written from there. There's just one other view. So obviously there's the very unnobly uh, uh, body of these arthropods that are sitting there. And that's one having a sunbake. We'll see if we can enlarge it. Mm, yes, uh, it's purpley dark. Look at it. That leads up to that one there. I think they're the same one. I can't believe I'm getting that much detail out of this. Don't know what I can say about this one. There's just one worm there, there could be an egg there. And um, that's darker, so there could be a, a baby arthropod there. See how it's a lot darker than the white worm, so obviously it's dark purple, very unnobbly. Uh, next picture. Mm, that's not a good one. Next. Um, what have we got there? Not much, it's hard to work out. Obviously that's one process there, but without the ability to go further in, I don't like to comment. That's a good one. That shows that dark arthropod there, and it could be an egg there or part of that process. They're usually hiding in the shadows, and there's a little one there. I think these curvy ones are the white worms coming across. Not that clear. Okay.